In today's video, we're going to cover how to automate JotForm with other applications. For this automation, we are going to use Make, previously known as Integromat. Make is an automation platform that integrates with other applications. So it's going to connect and it's going to be a bridge between JotForm and other applications. Now, let's get started with this tutorial right now. Welcome to JotForm. My name is George, and today's tutorial is going to cover how to automate JotForm with other applications using Make. Now, I'm on my JotForm dashboard, and we're going to get started with this tutorial. So let's go ahead and create a brand new form. And then for this case, in this demo, we're going to start from scratch, and we're going to use Classic Form. Now, I'm going to drag in some basic elements for this automation. So let's go ahead and add form elements. And we'll ask for the full name. We'll ask for the phone number and the email, okay? And I'm gonna rename this form to something I can locate later on. So I'll say, make integration form. There we go. I've renamed this form so I can locate it later on. Okay, so basic elements. Now, how can I integrate? Let's go into settings, integrations, and we are gonna search for make. Here we go, here's make, and like I mentioned before, previously known as Integromat. So let's go ahead and select it, and it's gonna take us to the make website, and it's gonna let us know things that we can do with make. And you can do several things with it, and one of the cool things about make is that you can create several steps from one single automation. What am I talking about? Let's just say that you receive a submission from a form that someone filled out. Well, with that submission, we can send them to our email marketing service, we can send them to our CRM, we can do another email, another automation, all of these steps using Make. So let's go ahead and log into our Make account. Here we go, this is our Make account, and we're gonna get started with our first scenario, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, click on the top right button that says create a new scenario. And this will open up the make dashboard. Where we can start building our automation. Now, the first thing that we're going to need on make is the trigger. So what's going to trigger the automation? In this case, it's going to be a submission from JotForm. So we're, we're going to connect with JotForm. Let's click on the plus button and we're gonna start searching for JotForm. Here we go, let's go ahead and select it. And we have several options that we can select right here. First, it could be the trigger. So it's going to watch for a submission. So each time that someone submits the form, it's gonna send that data to Make. And then later on, we're gonna tell Make what to do with that data. We could also use it as actions. For example, create a new form, get monthly usage, monthly user usage, get form submissions, get user submissions. That's in case if you want to use it as an action. In this case, we're gonna use it as a trigger, okay? So let's choose watch for submissions and we're going to select the hook. Let's go ahead and add. We're going to connect to our JotForm account. So let's go ahead and add. And we're gonna need the API key from JotForm, okay? So where do we get this API key? Let's go back into our JotForm account. Okay, let's click on the avatar. We're gonna go into settings. Under settings, there's a section that says API. Let's click on API. And we're going to create a new API for this. So let's click on new API. Let's go ahead and rename it so we can find it later on. Um, it's important that you rename it but because you might want to delete it later on. That could be a, a thing that you might want to do. And then we're gonna do full access, okay? Once we've done that, we're gonna get our API key and let's go back into make, all right? So let's add the API key right here. You can name the connection with any name that you like, um, just in case that you're using another JotForm account or several JotForm accounts. Well, you add it there, just in case you don't wanna mix up your JotForm accounts. So in this case, we'll keep it as it is. Let's go ahead and save it. There we go. Now it's reading the information from JotForm and it's refreshing that information here. It's gonna find our forms that we have previously built on JotForm. Now we're gonna be able to view them right here. Here we go. Remember, we just created the form and we named it Make Integration Form. This, this one right here. If you want to select another form that you've previously built, just go ahead and select it. In this case, I'll use this one because we're using it for this demo. Let's go ahead and save it. There we go. And we have the data for this. Okay, let's go ahead and click OK. 
and we are now integrated with JotForm. So that means that anytime someone submits that form from that particular form, it's gonna receive it. But for now, it's not doing anything because we haven't connected it to anything right now. So what we want to do is actually automate it with something. So let's go ahead and add another module and we can search for a platform that we want to connect with. I mean, it could be anything that you want to use. For example, we have, well, they have a list of ongoing applications that you can integrate. Send that information that you received to do something with it. There's Asana, there's several popular ones, Automize, the Autoclose, um, AWS, a lot of things that you can do. So, but in this case, and for this demo, we're going to use Send in Blue, okay? There you go. And once I click on it, it's gonna ask me, well, what do you wanna do with that information? You can do list all contacts, list folders, a lot of things, get a contact. But in this case, we want to create a contact. So when someone submits that form, it's gonna automatically create a contact on my Send in Blue account, okay? So let's go ahead and create a contact. There we go. I am going to add my Send in Blue account. And again, for Send in Blue, it's gonna ask us for the API key. So let's go ahead and grab that one. So let's jump over to my dashboard and we're gonna head on over to the top right settings and we're gonna click on SMTP and API. Okay, let's go ahead and select it. And we have the APIs listed right here. So I'm gonna create a new one. And again, I'm gonna name it make because I want to locate it in case I need to delete it later on. So let's go ahead and copy this one. Okay, let's go back into our make account. We've added that API key, save it. And again, it's reading that information from send in blue, okay? So there we go, we are now connected. And remember that the automation that we've created is to create a new contact, okay? So when I click on this, it's going to open up the variables. These variables that I'm looking right here are from our JotForm form, okay? So depending on the elements that you have on your JotForm, we're gonna be able to view the variables right here. So in this case, I'm going to select email and it's added it right here. So we've tied the email with email. So it knows that it needs to send that particular variable to send in blue because that's the email section, okay? Now it's asking us for the last name and we're gonna go into name, drop down, last name, for the first name, we're gonna select like that. The SMS, we've added the phone number. Okay, there we go. Are we using double opt-in? No, we're not. Opt-in, no, we're not selecting that. And then it's gonna ask us to which list do we want to add this to? And in this case, I've previously added a list called JotForm, okay? And if you wanna add a, a new list, just go ahead and create it and send them blue. To create that list, just go ahead and jump into contacts. There we go. And under contacts, we're gonna go into lists and we're gonna add a new list. So in this case, JotForm has zero contacts. There we go. So we've set the, the information that we need. We've tied the variables. So right now, let's go ahead and test this first step, okay? So let's go ahead and run. Okay, let's go ahead and fill out our form once. So it receives the data and it creates the automation. So let's open in a new tab and let's go ahead and fill this out. We'll add a random phone number because we're not going to use it. Let's go ahead and submit it. There we go. Let's go into Integromat. And sorry, let's go into make and there we go. It just received the data. Everything is fine. We got a little green check mark. There we go. Let's go into our send in blue account. Remember we had zero contacts. Let's go ahead and refresh it. And there we go. One contact has been added. Here it is, the email, the last name, and all that information was added really quickly and fast. So as of now, what's going on? So when someone fills out that job form form, it's gonna grab that data and it's gonna send it out to send in blue because we've created that automation on make. Now, can we do more things with it? Yes, of course. We can add more steps to this automation if we'd like. So for example, if I click on add another module, well, it's gonna ask me, what do I want to connect with what next? Okay, so for example, um, I don't know, maybe I want to send a Twilio, SMS, I can do so with it. Maybe I want to add it to my ClickUp. There it is, here it is, ClickUp. Maybe I want to create a task because that form was created for a um, 
an opt-in form or something that you might need to create a task with that information so that is possible. Maybe you want to add it to your CRM. Maybe you want to do a search. Maybe you want to create a link with Rebrandly. There's a lot of things that you can do with automation with Make. So that's the things that you can do. Now, there's another option also with JotForm. I mean, you, you can integrate Make to JotForm. So the other way around. In this case, we are receiving the trigger from JotForm and we're creating something with it. Let me go ahead and delete this really quickly. So let me go ahead and right click, delete the module, and we're gonna bring it to the beginning. There we go. So we're sending this one out. Um, in this case, we'll do something else. What if we want to create something on JotForm? So in this case, if something else is before JotForm, we can create a trigger, okay? So in the action, we can create a new form from the submission that we received from something else. For example, if a contact is added on Send in Blue, we can do something with it. We can create a monthly user usage, get form submission, or get user submissions. So that's another way to integrate Make with JotForm. So one is with submissions, when you receive the submission, it'll do something, or the other way around. If you want to integrate something before it, so it integrates with jot form and you're able to use the actions for it or the searches but that is how you integrate jot form with make we thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials